Hey guys, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com and today I want to talk about selling ad space on your blog using a script called OIO Publisher. And first of all, I want to thank Paul from TechnicallyEasy.net, one of my great moderators on WebsiteBabble.com, um, for telling me about this script because I've been using it now. I first used it on my form and then now I'm using it on my blog and it's just it's so, so easy to set up and he introduced me to this script some months back so I just want to thank him for that um, so what I'm going to talk about in this video is just show you how quickly and easy it is to set up this plugin so if you go to my blog now um, in the last few days or so I just I started allowing banner advertising this is new for me um, I did not allow banner ads I wanted to wait until my blog had a decent amount of traffic and RSS subscribers I'm hovering now between 27 and 2900 readers per day for my subscription so it's pretty good so I decided to start introducing some advertising now do you have to wait until you have 2700 no you can probably start a lot earlier but I just wanted to make sure that I had the traffic before I started doing this so OIO is managing this ad space that you see here and I'm gonna show you how I set it up first thing you do is when you install one thing you'll love if you're a WordPress user when you install OIO it's just like installing a plugin okay and oh by the way it's not free it's 47 bucks so I've, a lot of people think plugin they automatically assume free no it's not free but after I go through this tutorial you'll understand why it's not and this script will pay for itself for some of you within the first ad purchase so um, it's totally worth it so the first thing when you install the plugin it'll put this tab down here in your WordPress admin panel and you're the first thing you're want, gonna want to do is go to settings and we're gonna come up here to the payment settings and this is where you set up how you're going to accept payments and as you can see right now I'm just using PayPal um, then you'll come down here to the advanced settings and you can decide if you want to approve the ads before they go live I recommend doing this because if you don't you may get some porn ad to show up on your site and maybe some of you are okay with that <laughs> I'm not and I also want to approve them because I don't want anybody wasting their money if somebody submits an ad for furniture or something that's totally unrelated to my theme I'm not gonna accept that ad I'm not gonna allow those people to pay because that's not it's not a relevant ad for my audience and it's probably gonna have a very low click-through rate so what is the point so I would I would reject that ad so the downside to using this approval method is there's gonna be like a, a holding time or a lag period between the time the person purchases to the time it gets live on the site because you have to physically come in here and approve it but I would much rather do that than have these inappropriate or um, just you know ads that aren't going to work for someone up on my site so you can choose to do whatever you want to do you can choose whether or not you want to allow subscription payments um, how you want the ads to display in a new window or not image uploading I chose to have the people upload the images on their own server I don't want to store the images on mine um, so these are all the settings that you can set up pretty straightforward purchasing guidelines now once you've done that you're ready to set up your zones and so if you look at my blog here this is a banner zone that you're looking at so how I set that up is I came over here to banner ads and here's the code that you paste into your site to let this to make the zone show up if you're using this on a static website yes folks you can use OIO on a static website but the difference is you have to manually set up the database yourself it's not hard you just go to your hosting account um, most hosting accounts if you have a standard Linux Windows hosting account you can just set up a, a database very easily and then you'll have to use the username and password that you set up and you have to edit that or edit the script the OIO script um, to make it work so basically it's just about setting up a database and then taking that information that you use to create the database and inputting it into the script and then uploading all the files and it's ready to go so it's a little bit more work involved on a static website but it will work um, so then you just set up your zone so here's my banner ad setting zone one have it checked because I wanted to show you have to give it a name because once you start adding other zones like if you have a text ad zone or if you have another banner ad zone on another place on your site you have to give them all individual names so people will know which ad space they want to choose 
Um, this is where you set up your price. So right now I have a very low, low introductory price of 19 bucks for 30 days and then $35 for 60 days. Um, quite honestly, I think that's a pretty generous price for the amount of traffic that I am getting now. Um, again, you guys are seeing an experiment in, in progress here. Um, I've, this is the first time I've ever sold Banner Space on this blog. So um, these prices will probably go up in the future um, as I experiment. But um, right now, I think for the amount of traffic that I'm getting and the amount of RSS readers I have, um, these are pretty decent prices. Um, so hey, I get to not only show you guys about OIO Publisher, but I get to plug my own prices. How about that? <laughs> um, the banner width and the height, you want to set that. So as you can see, I'm using 125 by 125. So if your banners were 468 by 60, then you would just put that there. You can choose how many columns and rows you want. So if I ever decide to offer six spaces, I would just change this one to a two, just like that. And then it will automatically add a row right below there. Rotation factor, you can adjust that. You can adjust your ad queue length, you know, how many ads you have waiting in your queue. Um, right now I have that set to zero. Again, that may change, but I'm looking at it like this. If somebody, if I've got three people that have a 60 day ad and my space is full and then somebody comes along and wants to purchase, they're going to have to wait until those ads are finished running. And I don't want to have ads backed up, you know, six months down the line. Again, I may change this once I start offering more spaces, but for now I have it set to zero. You can also uh, set how many space, how much spacing you want between your ads. So this is 15 pixels between each ad. See, everything here is customizable. Isn't this cool? Um, the default image. So this is like your advertise here image that you would put here to let people know you have space available. Um, and then no follow. Most blogs for advertising use a no follow attribute, which attribute, which means you are not assigning page rank or a link juice to these ads that are on your site which I would recommend if you're selling ads because if you're if there's an ad up there that you nece you don't necessarily want Google to see you're linking to then you'll want to have this no follow yes in place now some of you may choose to do a user choice and if so you can set a premium price if the person wants or doesn't want a no follow link so see how that works so you can add a little you can do hundred and fifty percent if you want you can do whatever so I thought that was kind of interesting for those of you that want to entertain that option there's a link exchange option and then there's default ads down here which is cool because you don't want your blog to look like nobody's advertising you know so if you set up default ads if they will rotate ads within your paid ads so it doesn't look like no one is advertising on your blog. So until you sell the spaces, you can actually put your own affiliate banners up here, which I think is really nice. So after you set that up, you can choose to do another zone, or you can also set up text ads as well, and you just go through the same process and fill out all the information for the text ads, and then you just grab the code, paste it into your site, and you're ready to start accepting ads. It's that easy. So if you go back to my blog, I put a link down here that says advertise and it links to my OIO landing page and the landing page lists all of your advertising options. So right now I've got text pricing, text ad pricing and banner ad pricing and the person can just select which one they want and they can say continue with the purchase and they simply fill out all their details, select their zone they fill out their name, their email, and when they do that, you get an email saying that, you know, an ad has been purchased. You go back to your admin panel to approve the ad if you have the approval process set up, and then the ad starts running. And the the plugin takes the ad down when it expires. You can always go into the admin panel if somebody needs to edit an ad or a link. You can go in and edit any of the ads, but everything is automated. You don't have to monitor it. Um, it will send out emails reminding the people that their subscription rate has been um, or is about to expire. Um, and you can even edit those emails by clicking this email link up here. And here are all the email templates. See, so as soon as a purchase is submitted, this is the email the person gets. So you can edit this. Um, the purchase approved email is sent out. If someone re uh, rejects a purchase, this is what is sent out. So there's so many customizable things, guys, about this. Oh, and your advertising page.
You can also customize how that looks as well by using CSS. So if you want to change the look of your app, so this page here, if you want to change, see how it kind of has the same colors of my blog and my website? I did all that, or I updated that by coming in here and changing the style sheet. So hopefully you guys can see that OIO Publisher is a very neat plugin. Again, it's not free. At the time I'm doing this video, it's 47 bucks, but um, in my opinion, well worth it. Really surprised I don't see a lot more people using this plugin. I don't know, maybe there's a free one out there that's better. If so, you guys let me know. Um, but I think if you're looking to sell ad space on your blog, this is the plugin to use. And you can also use it on your static website as well. So I highly recommend it. See you guys later. Bye bye.